Okay, so I hopped ahead a little bit on this one for 15, but centered it already. It's all my centering. See, I've got space pretty well. And then all I did was I took, um, you've got a one three fourths by three inch rectangles, basically. I think these are actually going to end up filling in too. Um, this one's a weird one. It's, it's kind of cut down on an angle here, and then it has like a step in it. So... This is a tricky one. Even when I had to make this one, I'll show you in a few minutes. I made this one on uh, my solid modeling software, and it took me a, a good 10 minutes, 15 minutes to, to get it to exactly the way I wanted it. Uh, and that's not not a uh, typical occurrence for some of these. Um, so I take I basically took those rectangles and I added in the 45 degree. These are actually all 45 degree angles that are on here. So 45 degrees. Then I just transferred this one down. This one's on a 45 degree. And then this one goes corner to corner, which ends up being a 45 degree because it's one and three fourths by three by one and three fourths. So this one's a square over here. Um, then to get the steps, that's kind of, I think this is the easy part. What you got right here is the easy part, right? 45 degrees, just this guy on here, 45. It transfers right down. You can see right there. So just slip it over and get another 45 degrees. This one will end up being corner to corner, 45 degrees. The steps are the tricky part. So these things, basically you're going to measure them over here and then transfer them um, uh, using your T-square on here. And then you're going to transfer them up on here using some projection lines. So half inch up and three-fourths of an inch up. Half inch, then three-fourths. So what we're going to see there, looking at this front view, Okay, there's not there's gonna be a whole line right here. Okay, a whole entire line. Because you're gonna see this one flat on, then you see this one going away from you. Remember, if we're looking at it from this this view right here. So this one's gonna go to at least right over here. Okay, then over here, this one's gonna go to at least right over here like that. And my three fourths one as well. This one's going to go to here, then stop. This one's going to go to here and stop. Now, why I said at least is because where it runs in right here, it's going to come straight down like this until it runs into it. So this one's going to go all the way across and stop. I can get rid of this guy in the middle here. because that's actually gonna be a, a rectangle going away from you. Remember these dashed lines right here, those are projection lines, okay? But this is gonna be solid going away from you, kind of like that. Let me get rid of this in the middle here. And then same thing over here. This one's gonna come down until I run into it like that. And then in the middle, that's why I drew these a little bit lighter. Okay. Then we can kind of fill these guys in here, kind of like this. Okay. Now for the top. Top, we're going to project these up. So, and all we can do is project up to 45 degree angle. So, this, I want that one there. And I need this edge right here. And all it's going to be is 45 degrees right there, 45 degrees right here. Okay, so these just project up like this. Kind of confusing. Not going to lie. That one's that one's not the uh, simplest to do. However, I do want to show you a little added bonus for some of you guys on here. Okay, here it is, right? And we've got our... Bug view, which we just drew. Right side view, just drew that one as well. See how that line is not in there anymore. And then we'll do our top view. Okay, so that's how that one's done. Kind of tricky, kind of confusing, but uh, there you go.